in this video we are going to show you like i'll show you how to prove the equivalence of two proportional logic statement using natural detection uh, like usually what we do like when you want to prove the proportional logic statements to be equivalent we try to derive a truth table for it and based on the truth table if there is a way of uh, having the same columns for for both like the same entries for both then we can say that it is equivalent or uh, we can use a normal way of reducing it and this video i'll show you using the natural detection phenomena whatever we have discussed so far for proving the equivalence of two proportional logic statement so i'll just take two statements so this is like any two statements like lhs if you want to prove lhs and rhs to be equivalent one way of proving it is taking this lhs as a premises and deriving rhs out of it like taking lhs as a valid statement and using natural deduction phenomena if you are able to derive rhs and similarly taking rhs as your valid statement and with that valid statement if you have there is a possibility of deriving this lhs then it is said to be equivalent okay so this is what we are going to do to prove the equivalence we are going to derive both the sides taking lhs as the valid statement as a premises and applying the natural deduction phenomena if you are able to derive rhs done and similarly so taking rhs as a valid statement as a premises and if you are able to derive this lhs it is done okay i'll show you this with an example for proving this equivalence okay, let us consider two proportional logic statement P implies Q implies R. This is one side LHS, and we are going to prove the equivalence of the statement. Equivalence can be written like this, and RHS is P and Q implies R. To prove that equivalence of this proportional logic statement, one way is like taking this P implies Q implies R as a premises, and we are going to prove or derive. P and Q implies uh, implies R as out of it, or taking the reverse of it. P and Q implies R as the premises, and you are going to conclude to P implies Q implies R. And you are able to do both. When you are able to derive both, then the given statement is equivalence. Okay, so first we'll consider the statement. We'll one by one derive it. So first consider the statement. So in this, like. The given premises list, like we have only one premises given, that is P implies Q implies R, and this is the premises given out of it. So now with this statement, there is no way of breaking this loop and all. Okay, so it is really hard to derive. So we are going to make an assumption over here. So assumption should be equivalent to something over this RHS. So I am just going to assume that P and Q as an assumption. Okay, so if P and Q is valid, then P is also valid. Q is also valid. So it is based on and elimination from statement two and elimination from statement two. Okay, if P and Q is valid, then P is also valid. Q is also valid. Okay, so with this, what we can derive now? We have the statement P. And when you combine this with the premises, P is valid, and P implies Q implies R is also valid. So with this, using implies elimination of statement four and one, we can derive that Q implies R. Okay, and sixth statement is now you have Q and Q implies R. With this, what we can derive? With that, we can derive to R. Right, like Q is valid and Q implies R is also valid. With that, we can prove that R is valid by implies elimination of statement four and five. When you clump these th these two things, you are getting R. Okay, now from this assumption, we have assumed that as P and Q. So with this assumption, by using yeah. With this P and Q as an assumption, using this given premises, you are able to derive R. So, what does that mean? It is implies insertion from statement two to six 
we can write it as p and q implies r okay so with that we can say that if p implies q implies r is valid then p and q implies r is also valid so one half of that is proven now we'll try to prove this second half of the statement so second of the statement is like the given premises is p and q implies r so this is a given premises so with this premises we are we are not able to prove anything the reason is it is really hard to split this like without any uh, given statement we are not able to split this propositions so we can make some assumptions so i'm going to make two assumptions over here one is p is valid another one is q is valid so this is one assumption and this is the second assumption and the uh, fourth one is now when p is valid and q is also valid we can merge these two statement and write it as p and q okay this is and insertion of statement 213 okay by and insertion we can write these two statement as p and q okay now we have p and q and in the premises we have p and q implies r okay so it is like using negation elimination from statement 1 and 4 we can write it as of the statement is this derives to r p and q is the p and q is the implies r so r is the resultant one okay now according to from this assumption okay when you are packing up from this assumption what is proven we start from q as assumption by based on the given premises we are able to derive r so that means starting from q we are able to derive r this is implies insertion from statement 3 2 got it now next one is starting from q p as an assumption we are able to derive to q implies r so this can be merged together and can be written as p implies q implies r this is implies insertion from the statement 2 2 6 okay so now this is your needed rhs so the conclusion is derived so what does that infer we yeah, we have a possibility of taking this as a premises and deriving this as a conclusion using natural deduction and similarly taking this rhs as an premises we are able to derive lhs as a conclusion so with that we can prove that both given both proportional logic statements are equivalent okay so this is how we use a natural deduction phenomena for proving the equivalence thank you